to write for the, the Scorpion King, how much of an influence and how much of the story was yours? Did you enjoy doing the Scorpion King? I did. Um, I was brought in like three weeks before they started shooting, so I was like a, a, a last-minute cleanup um, screenwriter. And um, so, how much of it was mine? It was really, you know, it was other people's script. I just came in and sort of, I came up with some new action. I kind of put in my own style of dialogue. Some of the dialogue had been uh, kind of modernized, and this was a Stone Age thing and it always drives me nuts when people are like oh that's gotta hurt or you know something like that modern phrases so it was really sort of taking the dialogue back to um i mean not you know it's not ancient it's still it's still goofy and, and action based but uh try not to be so anachronistic and then um so i did my rewrites on the script and then i got to do a uh i got to do a read through of the script sitting in between uh, The Rock and uh, Michael Clark Duncan, who are two of the largest men <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. And they're both in like string tank tops and their biceps are like this. And I was like, if they both fell over at once, I would be crushed into a fine paste. Um, but that didn't happen. And then one time, uh, so I did my rewrites and everything and I, I was on the set for, for a couple of weeks and then they were like, okay, I think we're good with the script. So I went on my way and then they called me one day and said, um, we want you to come down and we're having trouble figuring out the action at the end. And so I went, they drove me out to the desert and they built this castle and I got to stand with The Rock and, uh, and the director, Chuck Russell. And I was like, okay, so where is everything? He's like, he's been shot in the back with an arrow. And I'm like, where's his bow? And they're like, oh, it's here. And I'm like, okay, so he should, you know, it's like, he, you think he's dead, he just can't, you know, and then he sees the bow and the bad guy's got the girl. And so he goes and he crawls, and he gets the bow like this, but he doesn't have an arrow. I was like, then he reaches back with Herculean strength, and pulls the arrow up and zap, like this and hits the bad guy and knocks him off the wall. And that's what you should do. And the rock was like, yeah, like that. And so, um, so it was super fun. It was, it was just, I worked on it for like a month, and it was amazing. So, and that was his first starring role. So, um, so I felt I felt uh, very lucky to have played a, a, a small role in his incredible journey.